Hey guys, this is Crawl. Uh, I don't know if you guys have watched my last video, but uh, in my last video I showed you this little ship here and uh, I compared it with another one of my small ships, which is Phantom, uh, that you can see on the picture right here. And uh, yeah, this one is much superior to Phantom, by the way. Um, anyways, uh, at the end of my last video, I explained that I have a small setup here. Uh, I wanted to try and do as much damage as I can to my deep space exploration ship that you can see over there using four of these little mongoose because that's how the ship is called it's the mongoose because it's fast and agile and uh, maneuverable so um, <clears throat> the plan here is I take one I fly over there I try to do as much damage as I can before I get destroyed because I will get destroyed no doubt about that there's no way that I can fly around this ship forever without getting destroyed this is all made out of light armor which is why it's so fast and agile but uh, I won't be able to avoid all of the missiles and Gatling turrets shooting at me it's impossible so when this one gets destroyed, I come back, I take another one, I go there, I try to do as much damage as I can, and so on and so forth, until the last one gets destroyed, and, uh, and then I'm gonna go and see if I manage to uh, do any damage at all to my deep space exploration ship. By the way, my deep space exploration ship has been built uh, to be solid, durable, not very fast but it's been built to take a hit so uh, and it's demonstrated that it's definitely able to take a hit in other tests that I've done so uh, this is going to be the ultimate test for that little mongoose here which only has five Gatling guns in the front so like I said I don't expect too much uh, from this against this but we'll see. So let's get started. So I like to fly in third person. Maybe that's just me, but um, okay, let's go with this angle. All right, let's try this. left of my little mongoose. Wow. Okay, I think I didn't have my dampeners on. Like seriously, there's parts of it flying everywhere and this is all that's left. So, <laughs> oh my god, there's nothing left inside. Oh my god, okay, so you are definitely a tank. Okay, so let's go and grab a second one. So this time I was trying to strafe around it, or strafe around it, and uh, shoot it while strafing sideways. Obviously that didn't work, so maybe this time we'll try a more direct approach. I'm gonna try in first person.
my dampeners might be off. Yeah, I don't know why every time I hop into a ship my dampeners turn off. But yeah, I kind of lost track of where the large ship was after I did my first flyby, so... It, it doesn't seem to have suffered too much damage on this side. All of the turrets on top are still there. And there is nothing smoking or uh, spark, sparking, sparkling, whatever. Yeah, seriously guys, um, hmm, I wish I had like three friends with me right now who could be flying the other mongoose so that, you know, the fire from this ship would be pretty much all over the place and not just aiming at me. And if we could swarm it with like ten of these little ships then maybe we could do some damage. go third person again because like I said I kind of lost track of where the ship was so we're gonna try and do a flyby underneath this time by underneath because most of the turrets are here on top but obviously there are turrets underneath as well so oh I might have oh yeah okay I, I destroyed some of the solar panels here and damaged the others and managed to warp some of these blocks Yay, I did some damage, guys. This is awesome. <laughs> okay, and I have also damaged a lot of the solar panels here. All of these four solar panels here are kind of sparkling, so... Uh... Okay. And some of these as well. But they're not destroyed, they're just damaged probably still working okay so now these three these two are not working this one is working and this one is working so after the third uh, third mongoose I managed to do a little bit of damage so there's only one left nothing <laughs> the 
right side of my ship was completely gone. I had lost a lot of maneuverability there. Oh my god. This ship is a beast. So yeah, there's a lot of sparks everywhere, but it's, it only it, it's only coming from the solar panels. Still has all of its turrets. It's it's hard to aim and to really be like, okay, I want to aim that part specifically uh, when you're trying to avoid damage as well as dealing damage. Okay, there's a little piece right there that entered the... Uh, <laughs> it's a landing gear. It entered the, uh, the sensor field range for the proximity alarm. Poor little guy. Oh well, you did your best. Obviously this ship wasn't designed to attack large ships like this. These little ships are designed for uh, to swarm an enemy, not to uh, go one-on-one -on -one against a, a monster. But, uh... Uh, I, I want to try another one of my small ships, Lazarus, right there. This one has a lot more weaponry. And it's all made out of heavy armor. Oh shit, I basted it too close. Pasted it inside of the turret's range. I'm gonna wait until it's done destroying it, and then I'm gonna try and do, you know, one last uh, attack with Lazarus. Obviously, Lazarus is a lot heavier, and uh, it's gonna be taking damage the entire time. There's no way I'm gonna be able to avoid damage, but I might be able to uh, do some damage to it because it has rocket launchers as well as. Uh, a lot more Gatling guns. Whoops, I don't even need to open this. I can just paste it. <clears throat> yeah, it's starting to lag a lot. Okay, we're gonna wait until the other one is completely destroyed. As you can see, it can take a lot more damage. Lazarus is completely built out of heavy armor. Shouldn't be too much of it left. I think the Zerids are trying to destroy everything inside the ship, everything that would make the ship work like uh, the conveyors, the reactors, um, so, uh, maybe cargo containers and gyroscopes and stuff like that. And once everything is destroyed and the remaining thrusters are turned off, I think the turrets are, uh, they stop firing because it's pretty much just a uh, flying debris at that point. So, huh. does have some rocket launchers.
as well as a whole bunch of Gatling guns. So the only thing here is that um, it's kind of hard to you know you're you're flying and then switching between weapons and stuff. It's it's not that easy. I guess when I'm if I'm attacking a ship like this and I want to be moving a lot, I probably won't be using missiles too much. Anyways, let's try this, see what happens. I think I'm still out of range of its turrets. And if I'm actually hitting, then this would mean that I can actually use... I damaged this turret enough so that it stopped firing because it's, it's no longer firing right now. There's only one here firing, so this one is too damaged to work. I 
guess this one has a uh, bad angle so it can't fire. These little things right there, they're just uh, interior turrets, so they're probably not doing much to it. And there's some interior turrets over there as well that are probably not doing that much to it. So, uh, yeah, Lazarus was definitely a lot more powerful, it could definitely take a lot more hits. So I did manage to do quite a bit of damage there. Now it's going to take forever for these turrets to... Uh, it's just Gatling turrets. It's going to take forever for them to destroy everything. There's no missiles in there. And by the way, uh, while I was flying Lazarus, I eventually stopped using missiles. stopped using missiles it was because uh, I think they pretty much just destroyed my missile launchers um, the two on each side they're reloadable missile launchers so uh, after I fired all four it was taking forever for them to reload so I switched back to Gatling and I think the uh, the one on top was completely destroyed but they probably did manage to do some damage and uh, just for the fun of it now we're gonna finish the job we're gonna try and destroy whatever is left of this ship or at least you know make it uh, make it so it can no longer uh, no longer serve because it's, it's way too tough right now but hey, I, I made it, so that's why. <laughs> okay, so I'm looking for this one here. Okay. This is a torpedo launcher, so it should finish the job. And this one's a large ship. It's fairly fragile compared to this one. This one would not take that much to uh, destroy. It only has three missile turrets in the back, but if I want to, I don't even have to fight with this ship. I can be at top speed anytime I like. So right now, we are going to lock on target and launch our torpedoes. Uh, before I launch them, since I want to see the impact, uh, okay, we're gonna go and have a spectator cam. Now, obviously, um, the turrets are gonna fire at the torpedoes as they're coming, so it's possible that you know some of the torpedoes might get destroyed before they uh, they hit but there's no way the remaining turrets would be able to completely destroy the torpedo so I'm guessing the carcass of the torpedo will still come and hit the ship which might do some damage so let's see what we can do here so we're gonna see the torpedoes coming We're gonna fire the warheads first and then the gravity torpedoes and then we're gonna go to F8 and see what kind of damage we're gonna do. I think I destroyed the missile turret right there, so 
These ones may have cleared the way for the two warheads to hit. Boom. But obviously I hit the back of the ship, which pretty much only had thrusters. This damage here on top was pretty much all done by Lazarus. This was the uh, main command room. <laughs> oh, actually, the flight seat is still intact. Okay, so that was an entire fleet of ships attacking this monster, or this beast. And it's still standing. It's amazing. This was the first ship I ever built in uh, creative mode. I built it to take a hit, and uh, I'm not disappointed here. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Well, this is going to be the end of this video. Obviously, this thing would take ages to destroy, so, uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.